Hi, I'm Zoe Paintman, the Deputy Leader for Reporting and Assurance here at Chartered Accountants Australia and New Zealand. I'm joined today by Warren Allen, who's the Chief Executive of the External Reporting Board. So Warren, when did you first become aware and interested in integrated reporting? What attracted you to it? So uh, I think it was around about uh, 2009, 2010. I was a member of the International Federation of Accountants Board uh, and uh, IFAC, as it's known, uh, was one of the initial founders uh, of uh, integrated reporting. And uh, it uh, was set up really by a challenge from the Prince of Wales uh, and one of his trusts. Uh, and he challenged the accounting profession to do a better job uh, in reporting things, environmental, social and, and governance. And uh, so I was attracted to it because it made a lot of sense. You know, to me, this was the way forward in corporate reporting. And how does integrated reporting fit into extended external reporting? Yes, well, so extended external reporting uh, is a term that we coined uh, at the External Reporting Board because being a government entity, uh, we really couldn't just support one framework. And there are many frameworks in which people follow uh, in this extended external reporting. So, you know, this was an umbrella term uh, that uh, picked up all the various frameworks and the different styles in which people uh, undertake uh, this uh, reporting. So, so inter integrated reporting is just uh, one of the frameworks uh, probably the latest one uh, in uh, many frameworks that are used by uh, entities uh, in extended external reporting. And what's the external reporting board's role in extended external reporting? Well, we have a very strong mandate uh, to, uh, you know, look at corporate reporting in, uh, in New Zealand. So, you know, within our legislation, uh, the term corporate reporting uh, is seen and uh, extended external reporting is the sort of the modern way, if you like, to, uh, to undertake uh, corporate reporting. So, you know, we had a strong uh, requirement and mandate to respond to uh, users' needs. For many years, uh, we just concentrated on participating in the debate. Uh, but then we got the clear message that uh, we needed to get a little bit more proactive uh, and uh, provide some assistance. So, you know, we have a very active website uh, that helps people these days uh, to uh, undertake extended external reporting. And why is extended external reporting important for New Zealand? Well, the, the main reason that it's important is that the users of uh, corporate reports are demanding this wider sphere of reporting. You know, financial information alone just doesn't sort of meet the demands or the needs uh, of users uh, today. So, you know, that's why it's important. It's been well accepted and well implemented internationally. Uh, initially, New Zealand was a little bit behind where uh, other entities were internationally, uh, but I'm thrilled to say that we really are catching up and many New Zealand entities now are embracing this new form of reporting and meeting their users' needs uh, in their corporate reporting. Well, thanks, Warren. It's been great to have you with us today. Absolute pleasure, Zoe. Uh, I'm always happy to talk on this subject. I'm very passionate about it, so thank you very much.